I know probably next to nobody will really care, but I just want to make a point and say, one of the first videos that I created, I was actually wearing this dress. And I do want to say that when I was making that video, I was like, I hope you could watch my neck get slimmer and all those things. So when I put this dress on today, it's actually too big. So I just wanted to compliment myself out loud in front of the world and say, I'm doing great. Um, because the way that this dress is fitting today is not the way that this dress fit the first time I put it on. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and learning more about my education. Let me know what you think in the comments below once you get through the video. <laughs> I've got a lot of questions about what a PhD is, what it isn't, and my background and things like that. So I just thought it would be cool to make a video and give a little bit more understanding about what type of degrees I have, what those degrees mean, and why it even makes sense and why it even matters. And I just wanna say, for a lot of reasons, I don't think it matters that much. Um, mainly because I never lead a conversation with the degrees I have. I never lead any conversations with the things that I have in my background that make me me. I just always show up into spaces and show up as I am, and then if they come up, they come up. But as my channel continues to grow and as I start making more videos and start providing research and talking about how much I love research, I thought it was a good idea to make a video about why I love research, what it really means and how it really shows up in my life. So I just wanna start off by saying, I'm, actually, I'm also recording this at a different angle. I don't know how it's going to land. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I don't know if this is here to stay, um, but I just wanted to try something different. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but I do want to say that I do have three degrees. And so the first degree that I have is a bachelor's in psychology. And so I got a bachelor's of science in psychology, um, which basically means that I took more science courses than I did take arts courses. Um, so a bachelor's of science in psychology is basically, it is what it is. And so for those of you that don't know, psychology is really the study of human behavior, the human mind. Um, how people think, how people um, go through things, how your brain works and different things like that. And so as you hear me talk and share out things, you will often hear and hopefully see that a lot of the things that I say really starts with being grounded in how people work as humans and how people think um, and how we move. Because if you study anything in psychology, you will know that we're all wired a certain way. That is what the brain makeup is all about is the different ways that we're wired. And some of us are wired differently and some of us understand information differently. So for example, I am a, I would like to call myself like, I like to study and see things visually and I also like to hear them. So for me, if I'm a, if I'm a type of learner where I can hear things and learn in some situations, and in some situations I have to see things and able to learn. Um, some of you might find that you learn things differently or some people might find that you communicate differently around different people. All of that is the study of the brain and how we do things. And so if you know anything about psychology, if you've heard anything about psychology, psychology is all about humans and I don't want to say why we do things but maybe the reasons that will lend us to do certain things. I also want to mention that I do have a minor in forensic psychology because I wanted to be Dr. Wong on SVU um, and I wanted to study criminals and I wanted to study the the act of criminology, why do criminals act the way they do? Um, are there any things you know, that could have led you to think that they were going to act a certain way? Or really trying to identify what type of criminal commits cr certain crimes and things like that. So my minor is in um, forensic, forensic psychology. So it goes a little bit further into detail with that. So that's the first thing. So my second degree is in organizational management. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to, I wanted to pair the human behavior and the human thought process and apply that to organizations. And so organizational management is basically the exact same thing I described with people showing up in organizations. And so as people show up into organizations, obviously organizations are going to operate and function a certain way based on those people that are showing up into those organizations because that's how it works. And so what I wanted to really know is more about how organizations function, more about organizations as a whole. How are decisions made? Who are the decision makers? What does that mean? Um, and really take the study of people, but transition it into organizations. 
The other cool thing that I feel like that getting my degree in organizational management did is it opened up my world to also human resources and HR and how HR functions and why HR does the things that they do. And so what it did for me is it gave me a bigger picture so that I can understand the people and then I can understand the business and then I can understand the people in the business. So that is how those two degrees work together. And then finally, I have my PhD. So what a PhD is not is it is I'm not a medical doctor. So if you have a headache or something like that, can help you with that. I have my PhD in philosophy. It's specifically in adult education. And so what that means is I like to research. I like to research and I like to understand. And one thing about PhDs that you are taught and through your training is that you are always trying to find gaps in research. So in order to write a dissertation and in order to give your defense and in order to actually obtain your PhD, you have to go through this stage where you're trying to find gaps in research and then you conduct a research study that is trying to fill a gap within research that you feel like is needed. So my love of research, my passion for research, um, my passion for details, my passion for people, my my passion for all of these things all comes to triangulate when I'm talking about my degree or my PhD. And so, yes, PhD does give you doctor in front of your name, um, but a PhD is not what people think it is as far as people feel like PhDs. Um, are usually stuffy. They feel like PhDs usually see things one way. I specifically went and got my PhD so that I could get paid more money when I'm teaching in universities. That was my first that was my first goal. When I originally decided to get my PhD, it was so I could get paid a lot of money. That was my goal. Um, however, what I started to learn is I actually enjoy learning. I actually enjoy researching and I actually enjoy putting pieces of puzzles together. So if you'll find on my channel, a lot of times that's what I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to like piece together the world around me and piece together what I'm under the way that I understand the things that I'm seeing. So that is what really gives me my foundation. I know for a lot of people, this is a little bit confusing um, and doesn't really make a lot of sense in context if you don't understand the educational world. I also just want to say that, and I've said this before, I don't think that you have to have all these degrees to be a certain way or whatever. I'm a non-judgmental person. Some of my favorite people in the whole world don't even have degrees, uh, but this is just the path that I chose because I became interested and I like learning. And so that's why I always say, I love research, 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 because I am actually a researcher by trade. My actual um, degree is in research. And so research is what I do. I did get my degree in three years. I, I finished my PhD program from start to finish in three years. If you research how long it usually takes people to finish their PhDs, it's usually five to 10 years. I say that to say, when I am passionate about something, I am all in. When I am passionate about something, I will go and go and go and go until I feel satisfied in what I'm doing. And so that's why this YouTube channel really helps me because I get to take a part of who I am, which is making videos, creating and getting my word out and getting kind of like the way my brain is working out there into the world. Um, but it also allows me to be self-reflective because I can watch these videos. And I think part of the thing that makes me me is I love the self-reflective piece. Like I love making videos and then seeing what I think about them and seeing if I got my message across um, and then releasing them into the world. I totally understand that not everyone's going to understand everything I have to say. And everyone's going to even understand me. Everyone's going to think that they know who I am because of the way I show up and the way that they think I'm doing. But I can promise you, and I say this all the time, the only people that really know me are the people who have my phone number and the people that I've had one-on-one -on -one conversations with. Um, outside of any type of um, social media or anything like that. If we've had a real honest conversation about what you think, what I think, what you feel, how I feel, things like that, then I would think that you know me at least a little bit better than somebody that's just watching my videos. So I just wanted to say, yes, I am an anomaly. I am one of those people that I'm very highly educated. I made it a point to be very highly educated because at 17 years old, somebody told me that I would never amount to be anything because I was an athlete. That's how, that's how it was back in the day. But I was told I was never going to be anything. And I took that to heart and I made sure that I got my education and I leaned very heavily into that. So by trade and by training and by details, 
Um, I am an educator. And when you're an educator, you like to research and you like to put puzzle pieces together. That is just a side of who I am. So that is educationally who I am. So when you're watching videos about what I'm saying and how I'm feeling it and things like that, or if I'm showing up to other panels, just know that my background and the way that I've been trained is to always lead into research and to always lead into or lean into human behaviors and to always lean into what I think I'm hearing people say and bringing things together in that way. Because as people, we often give things away about ourselves that we don't even realize because we're just so used to it. And so our environment, our lens, our perspective, and all of these things go into that. And so that's what I do on my channel is just provide a different aspect. The funny thing about all of this is I always say I have multiple personalities when it comes to my background. Um, I also am a Gemini, so maybe that's totally normal, but there is a very business side of me that a lot of people don't really see and a lot of people don't really know about, but the business side of me comes from my leadership roles and comes from me talking to CEOs and me talking to vice presidents and me talking to coaches and me talking to a bunch of people who are very high level, who are way smarter than I'll ever be, but people that I can learn from and people that I can take it advice from and people that I've watched the way that they function so I can understand a bigger picture. So I am always looking at the bigger picture. I can see a bigger picture. So what I always like to say is I'm always seeing the bigger picture. So I always say I don't think or make a move until I can see the bigger picture. Once I can see the bigger picture, what I try to do with the bigger picture is I try to break down the bigger picture. And when I break down the bigger picture, that's when I lean into my education or my work history to try to get a better understanding. So that is kind of like different ways that I manage through. And that's different ways that I try to do things. Um, I am a woman of many trades. I'm a woman that does a lot of things. So don't get it twisted on some of the things that I do. And some of the things that you think that you're thinking that you know are probably not true about me. But some things that are true is that I'm very educated. Um, and that's just who I am, but I don't always lean into that. I kind of, I always say my education always goes in the back burner, um, because I like to use that ex education and like apply it to situations. And I like to make sense of things through using my education. So just wanted to make this video and tell a little bit more about what a PhD is, how, how I got there, what it even means, how it all comes together, how it all shows up. Um, the funny thing I will say is I only use my PhD for my professor job. I only use my PhD for my teaching aspect um, because the whole other side of me is a total business-minded person and totally operates in business and totally makes money by ways of business, by ways of businesses because I'm obsessed with how businesses operate. I'm obsessed with how businesses run. And so that is also some, another side of me. Maybe I'll make another video about that. I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of context of like what it means to be a PhD, um, how it shows up in spaces, how being how having a PhD shows up with when I'm making my videos and how I try to piece things together, piecing things together and not, you know, overreacting. I think all comes with having a PhD. So just wanted to share that out. Hopefully somebody will find this information interesting or they wanted it or they were curious or just you don't know anything that I'm talking about but now that you heard me talking about it maybe now you'll go you will go do your own research about what a PhD is what a bachelor's degree is what a master's degree is what is organizational management um, I always say my I always have said I think my job here on life is to inspire people to do things differently and to do things their way um, and to not apologize for who you are or what you feel like you should do, uh, obviously, as long as you're not harming people. Um, and that's always been my thing. So I'm going to lean in that. So my intentions are always going to be to inspire. My intentions are always going to be to make the world a better place. And my intentions are always going to be to hopefully open your eyes to things that maybe you didn't see or maybe things that you did see, but you didn't know how to put words to it. Uh, because I genuinely feel like that is one of the reasons why I was put on earth. So and now I'm blabbing, but I hope you like this video, but this is, this is what I think. <laughs>